community staple to say the least and the people I talked with today called him a kind family man who just wanted to make his community a better place. Stu Leonard's first opened its doors in 1969 in Norwalk and when you walk through its doors you know you're not in your average grocery store. From performing bananas and avocados and singing milk gardens, all thanks to Stu Leonard Sr., who made this a one-of-a-kind experience. Stu created this, you know, the founder of this Disneyland of dairy stores. The business grew and eventually opened multiple locations in Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey. He was an incredible guy. He was um, very kind and very curious and a natural born marketer. Scotty Reese co-authored Stu Sr.'s biography and says family meant the world to him. Trying to convince his daughter to join the family business, she was hesitant, but came back from studying abroad with a compromise. If you'll let me sell croissants in the store, then I will work for you. And he said, that'd be great, honey. What are croissants? <laughs> so he was willing to, he was willing to really go that extra mile and accommodate the business to uh, accommodate his family. Stu Sr.'s life, not without controversy. He pleaded guilty to tax fraud in 1993 and served 53 months in prison. Something Scotty says changed him. He came out of prison probably the healthiest he'd ever been. And that was really testament to his mindset and to his um, recognition that, you know, it's never too late to live a really great life and to make up for your mistakes. He was very sorry for what he did. During that time, his son, Stu Leonard Jr., took the helm of the business, which had even more growth, becoming the community staple it is today. This is a guy we love right here. You know, we're going to miss his inspiration. We'll always remember his impact that he had on so many people. His impact creating memories for generations to come. And he leaves behind a wife of 70 years, four kids, 13 grandkids, and 11 great grandkids. His memorial service is still being planned. In studio, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.